makes Tripundra duly with the ash is freed from groups of great as well as small sins. A brahmachari, a householder, a forest dweller, or an ascetic, brahmanas, kshatriyas, vaishas, shudras, the low and the base people become pure by means of Tripundra and Udhulana applied in the prescribed manner, and get heaps of sins destroyed. A person regularly applying the ash is freed from the sins of slaughter of women and cows, and that of heroes and horses. There is no doubt about it. By means of Tripundra, the following and similar other sins of innumerable sorts are destroyed immediately. Theft of others' wealth, outraging the modesty of other men's wives, censuring others, usurping and forcefully occupying others' fields, harassing others, theft of plants, parks, etc., arson, acceptance from base people of the gifts of cow, gold, buffalo, sesame seeds, blankets, cloths, cooked rice, food grains, water, etc., sexual intercourse with prostitutes, women of the tribal castes, fisherwomen, slave women, actresses, widows, virgins, and women in their menstrual periods, selling of flesh, hides, gravy, etc., and salt, calumny, perjury, deceitful arguments, and utterance of falsehood. The theft of Shiva's property, censure of Shiva in certain places, and the censure of the devotees of Shiva can be dispelled by the rites of expiation. Even a Chandala who wears Rudraksha over his body and the Tripundra on his forehead is worthy of respect. He is the most excellent of all castes. He who wears the Tripundra on his forehead gains the same merit as one who takes his bath in the sacred rivers like Ganga and whatever other sacred ponds, lakes, and holy centers there are in the world. The five-syllabled mantra that grants Shiva Kaivalya is on a par with seven crores of great and many crores of other mantras. O sage, mantras of other deities bestowing all blessedness are easily accessible to the devotee who wears the Tripundra. He who wears Tripundra raises a thousand predecessors and a thousand successors in his family. In this life he will enjoy all worldly pleasures and live long without any disease. At the end of the span of his life, he will have a peaceful death. He will then assume a divine auspicious body endowed with eight mystic cities. He will travel by a divine aerial chariot attended by celestial gods. He will enjoy the pleasures of Vidyadharas, powerful Gandharvas, in the worlds of Indra and other guardians of the quarters and those of Prajapatis, and finally reach Brahma's region where he will sport with a hundred virgins. He will enjoy different kinds of pleasures there for the full period of the span of life of Brahma. He will then enjoy the pleasures in the Vishnu Loka till hundred Brahmas die. Thereafter he will attain Shiva Loka and enjoy everlasting bliss there. Finally, he will attain Shiva Sayudya. No suspicion need be entertained in this matter. After going through the essence of all Upanishads again and again, this is what has been arrived at, that the Tripundra is conducive to great excellence. A Brahmana who censures the ash is no longer a Brahmana, but of a low caste. He will undergo the tortures of terrible hell for the period of the span of life of the four-faced Brahma. A man who wears the Tripundra while performing Shraddha, Yajna, Japa, Homa, Vaishvadeva, and the worship of the deities is a purified soul, and he conquers even death. When impurities are evacuated, a bath with water shall be performed. A bath with the ash is always purificatory. A bath with mantras removes sin. And if a bath with knowledge is taken, the greatest goal will be reached. A man who takes the bath of ashes derives that benefit which all holy centers accord. He gets the merit thereof. Bath with the ash is a holy center where Ganga Snan is possible every day. 
Shiva is represented by the ash, which directly sanctifies the three worlds. Infructious is the knowledge, meditation, gift, and japa, if these are performed by a brahmana without wearing tripundra. Forest dwellers, virgins, and men without initiation shall apply the ash pasted in water up to midday, and thereafter without water. He who wears tripundra like this regularly with a pure controlled mind must be considered a true devotee of Shiva. He derives both worldly pleasures and salvation. If a person does not wear rudraksha beads, which accord many merits, if he is devoid of tripundra as well, his life becomes futile. Thus, I have briefly told you the greatness of tripundra. This is a secret to be safely guarded by you from all living beings. O leading sages, in the different parts of the body, as the forehead, etc., three lines constitute the tripundra. The tripundra on the forehead extends from the middle of the eyebrows to the tips of the brows on either side. With the middle and the ring fingers, a line drawn in the opposite direction is called tripundra. With the three middle fingers, take the ashes and apply the tripundra on the forehead. It gives worldly pleasures and salvation. For each of the three lines, there are nine deities everywhere in the body. I shall mention them. Listen attentively. The nine deities of the first line are the letter A, Garhapatya, sacrificial fire, earth, Dharma, the Rajoguna, mode of passion, Rigveda, Kriya Shakti, the power to do, Pratasavana, morning rituals, and Mahadev. O foremost among sages, this shall be carefully understood by those who are initiated in the cult of Shiva. The nine deities of the second line are the letter U, Dakshina, sacrificial fire, the principle of Akasha, space, Sattva Guna, Yajurveda, Madhyamandina Savana, midday rituals, Itcha Shakti, willpower, Antaratman, the immanent soul, and Maheshwara. O foremost among sages, this must be carefully understood by those who are initiated in the cult of Shiva. The nine deities of the third line are the letter M, Ahavaniya sacrificial fire, the supreme soul, Tamoguna, heaven, Jnana Shakti, Samaveda, the third Savana, evening rituals, and Shiva. O foremost among sages, this must be carefully understood by those initiated in the cult of Shiva. Thus making obeisance to the deities of the different parts with devotion, one shall apply the Tripundra. One will become pure and derive worldly pleasures and salvation. Thus I have mentioned, O lordly sages, the deities of the different parts of the body. Now please listen to the different parts connected with them. The three lines are to be made either in 32 places, or half of that in 16 places, or in 8 places, or in 5 places. The 32 places are head, forehead, two ears, two eyes, two nostrils, mouth, neck, two arms, two elbows, two wrists, chest, two sides, navel, two testicles, two thighs, two knees, two calves, two heels, and two feet. The names of the following shall be uttered when the tripundra is applied. Fire, water, earth, wind, the quarters, the guardians of the quarters, the eight vasus, dhara, dhruva, soma, apa, anila, anala, pratyusha, and prabhasa. Or the devotee shall apply the tripundra in sixteen parts of the body. The sixteen parts mentioned before are head, forehead, neck, two shoulders, two arms, two elbows, two wrists, chest, navel, two sides, and back. 
The names of the deities presiding over them and which are to be worshipped are two Ashvins, Dasra and Nasatya, Shiva, Shakti, Rudra, Isha, Narada, and nine Shaktis, Vama, etc. Or the sixteen parts are head, hair, two eyes, the mouth, two arms, chest, navel, two thighs, knees, two feet, and the back. The deities are Shiva, Chandra, Rudra, Ka, Brahma, Vigneshwara, Vishnu, Shri in the heart, Shambhu, Prajapati in the navel, Naga, Naga Kanyas, Rishi Kanyas in the feet, and the ocean of vast expansion in the back. Now the eight parts are mentioned. The private parts, forehead, the excellent pair of ears, two shoulders, chest, and navel. These are the eight parts of the body. The presiding deities are Brahma and the seven sages. O lordly sages, this is what has been mentioned by those who know about the efficacy of the ashes. Or these five parts are to be used for applying ashes, as mentioned by those who know more about the efficacy of the ashes. They are forehead, two arms, chest, and navel. Considering the place and time, whatever possible shall be done by the devotee. If incapable of dusting the whole body with the holy ashes, he shall have the tripundra on the forehead alone, remembering Lord Shiva, the three-eyed, the support of the three gunas, and the progenitor of the three devas, by repeating Nama Shivaya, obeisance to Shiva. He shall have Tripundra in the sides, saying Isha Bhyang Namaha, obeisance to Shiva and the goddess, and in the forearms by saying Bija Bhyang Namaha, obeisance to the generating seeds. He shall apply the ashes beneath by saying Nama Pitribhyam, obeisance to the manes, and above by saying Nama Umeshabhyam, obeisance to Uma and Isha, on the back and the back of the head by saying Nama Bhimaya, obeisance to Bhima.